All right, good morning. It is, well, it's still morning my time. Hey, you guys, thank you for joining me today. It is the 24th of January. Welcome to today's Q&A. We're gonna answer some trucking questions here for you, some questions here about Decker Truck Line. So as the questions come in, if you have the questions, put them in the chat. As the questions come in, I'll be answering them. I also am gonna talk a little bit about the bonus programs because this week is bonus payout week for our professional drivers here at Decker. So we'll be bragging a little bit about them as well. If you have any specific questions, as always, you guys put it in the chat. Let's get those answered for you. And in the meantime, I will be, be giving you some details. Um, also, for all of our professional drivers here at Decker, we do currently have the quarterly bonus or the quarterly training, the quarterly safety training going on right now. So please make sure that you complete your safety training by the 13th of February. You have again till the 13th of February. For those who've already completed the training, kudos for those of you who completed the training within the first 24 hours. Your name was put into a drawing and we chose 10 names for Pilot Flying J gift cards. So those 10 winners for the quarterly safety training were Rex Mosley, Jeffrey Parker, Ryan Reese, Johnny Vetter, Jesse Soprito, Daniel Corrigan, Brady Harrison, David Bodle, Michael Thompson, and Dana Harrington. So congratulations to each of you who received the gift card, or if, you're, if you haven't received it yet, no worries, we'll be getting it to you. Um, I know Jeff asked whether or not he could have it sent to the Missoula terminal, and we can do that for you. For those of you who, you know, you can go in and check with your DM or go to the Welcome Center in Fort Dodge. If you rather it go to another terminal, just let us know. Reach out to Katie Fram and she'll be able to make those adjustments for you. Sound good? All right. So again, happy Tuesday. <laughs> Getting all the details out of the way right out of the gate. Um, we had some, I do want to give a shout out to Bryce. It is Bryce's anniversary today. So Bryce is one of our recruiters here at Decker. Um, so I do want to give him a shout out because I was giving him a hard time a little earlier today. So I figure, you know, it's, it's, it's about time I give him that. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are following the, the best fleets to drive for, there was another clue for best fleets to drive for. And today's clue was they have teams. All of those who are picked for the best fleets to drive for for 2023 have teams. And guess what? We have teams. So if you're looking for a team position, we have that available in our refrigerated division. It uh, runs over the road. So you need, you're, you're out usually two, three to four weeks at a time as a team. Now there's exceptions to that. If you live in an area where we are able to get you more home time, obviously we will. But for the most part, some of our teams, they'll start in one, wherever they're from in the, within the hiring area and we'll work them over towards a more dedicated route, not necessarily only dedicated, but usually more dedicated for the teams for the longer haul, and then uh, work you back when it's when your time for ready for home time. Some of our teams stay out, um, you know, four to six weeks at a time. Um, some of them do get home on a regular basis if they're right there, right in the midst of the the running lane, which works out perfectly for them. But uh, you're just going to need to reach out to the recruiting department to find out details. By the way. For information on the team positions, you can get a hold of our recruiting department at 888-668-0698. That number's right here, 888-668-0698. So we've got that. Um, what else can I tell you about the teams? We do have the guaranteed or the accelerated guaranteed sign-on bonus that goes to the team. It's $5,000. Um, paid out within the first year, so it's twelve fifty split to the truck each quarter, and then the more miles you run, the more you get paid for the bonuses, an extra five cents a mile on all the miles over twenty five thousand for that quarter. Did I say month? I meant quarter for that quarter. Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be coming through. Um, again, if you have any questions on it, reach out to the recruiting department at eight 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 six six eight zero six nine eight. There's also details on the pay, the base pay, which is 60 cents a mile, and it works its way up for the more miles you run. Our teams run usually around 23, 
24 to 26,000 miles per month, and which is pretty normal for us. Um, that is going to be well above the top tier of the pay. And so you'll be getting an extra eight cents a mile on all the miles that you've completed for the month. If you're any, if you're 18,000 miles or more for the team for the month, then you're going to get an extra eight cents a mile um, paid out to the team. So that's for us for a piece. And in that case, that's when you'll get that amount, that bonus amount on the third week of the month following when you ran it. So this week, basically, it's, it's usually the same week as bonus week. So that'll get paid out to you in addition to the um, your mileage, which is on a weekly basis. Every single week, you get the 60 cents a mile on all the miles that you, you completed. All right, good. <laughs> I also wanna remind everybody um, with the hours of service, that is basically your logs. You need to make sure that you're certifying those each and every day. They need to be certified true and correct each and every day. That's something that some people are missing and the inaccuracy of certifying them can put your hours of service and logs in the GeoTab system and make them, um, basically it's, it's showing incorrect, it's, it's showing errors and that alone can get you CSA points. And if you get those CSA points, you lose out on some of your guaranteed pay. So make sure that you are, are doing that. You don't qualify for guaranteed pay if you have any CSA violation. And again, hours of service can be a CSA violation. So that's where I was going with that. And then again, that does have an effect on the um, week to week guaranteed pay. So yes, let us know if you guys have any questions. 888-668-0698. Cool. All right, let's brag a little bit about our bonus payout. We have a scorecard and we have a safety bonus. And we talk about this pretty regularly here on our Q&A channel. Um, so if you have questions about that, in you, your specifically, please reach out to your driver manager so that they can go walk you through step by step on the the scorecard bonus and, and how it pays out and and any questions on on the scoring for you and you specifically. Now, if you had to idle because of weather, uh, because of temperatures, that should have been communicated to your driver manager at the time that you had to idle or or um, speaking to your to the night ops about it to make sure that communication's there. Because at that point, then they will be communicating with the fuel department to make sure that that it doesn't go against you on the scorecard. If you noticed those changes, make sure that you get those fixed immediately. So if you, if you notice the discrepancy, I should say, please make sure you get that fixed immediately. You are notified what your score is several days in advance to when it's paid out so that you can review that and report the discrepancy. And as I said before, you can access your scorecard on the tablet, so please make sure you do that, both your scorecard and your safety scores um, on the tablet. And that's your Transflow GeoTab tablet. We paid out over $51,000 for the month of December, our final month. We still have our Driver of the Month award to be coming, which will probably be next week or later this week. Uh, I'm not sure what the if the votes have been tallied yet, so I will find out more about that here shortly. We did have 142 company drivers who earned a bonus this week or this last month, paying out over 22,000 in just the scorecard alone. Paid out over 6,000 with our owner operators and lease purchase drivers, which was over 20 or which was 27 of our lease purchase and owner operators who who earned that. And of those. Of those who earned, there were perfect scores. Yes, a full thousand points means they get the full four cents a mile on all the miles they completed if they're a company driver. And if they're an owner operator or lease purchase, it's gonna be an extra three cents a mile on all the miles that they completed for the month. So let's, uh, let's share with you here some of our winners. Steve Alliger, Steve Alliger winning the full thousand points um, and full four cents a mile. Robert Anderson, David Bodel, Andre Buckner, Jesse Carter, uh, Lydia Dietrich, Chad Hazelton, Daniel Jimerson, Darren Ladley, Donald Lamb, Dennis McCubbin, Tom Melton, Greg Narciso, 
Todd Overson, Dean Sosek, Adam Stark, Anthony Vasquez, James Wise, and our owner operators lease purchase earners. This is a full three cents a mile on all the miles they completed. You have Jerry Arthur, Jamie Bean, Michael Patello, Gerlins Cullerman, Terrence Crawford, John Hodges, Coronari Purnell, Ernest Smoot, and Gilberto Villegas. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations to each one of you for that. Fantastic. Michaels. Um, Michaels. <laughs> Mike. Um, have the Deckers sent out W-2s yet? Yes. W-2s were sent out yesterday as well as the 1099s. Those were sent out yesterday. And for those of you who are wondering, we've been uh, reminding everybody for the last, actually since October, to make sure that you have your addresses correct. If they're not corrected in our system, you know, if you moved in the meantime, then they, I don't even know where they'd go. You know, they'd be going to your old address most likely. So please make sure whenever you make a change, whenever you make a move, that you update that with your driver manager so that everybody else will know. You bet you might. No problem. <laughs> All right. So yes, we had some great earners there for the perfect score. We actually had more people earn the safety score than we've had. I think the average right now, I got to double check, make sure I'm not full of bullarkey, but I think average was up to 40, yes, 43%. 43% of our drivers earned the safety bonus this last month. So that's higher than before. And that is 290 four drivers who earned that. And you, just to make sure that you guys can see those, I don't want to, I'm not planning on reading all of them because that would bring me here for all day long. Um, but you can see quite a few of those names, 294. Kudos to Katie for getting them all in the, the actual document, right? <laughs> it's pretty impressive. All right, so congratulations if you see your name. Um, let us know there in the chat. Please share it with us. If you see somebody you know, make sure that you congratulate them because it's a job well done. For the safety bonus, you have to have a score of 20 or below, 20 or below, and the perfect scores are the ones that you were seeing. Those were, so, no, we didn't have 294 perfect scores. We had 294 who scored, so I misspoke there. Make sure. <laughs> Between our safety scores, our scorecard, and maybe even the combination of both, we had 55% of our fleet who earned bonuses. Uh, Fallen Angel says, how much can you make your first year? Um, this is going to depend on your experience level because we do pay based off of your experience. However, we also have guaranteed pay. So you know you're going to make $52,000 uh, a year because we have the guarantee of $1,000 a week, pretty much across the divisions. However, um, some of our divisions, like we have a flatbed division, if you live in the an area of the Midwest, like visualize this with me, will you? Because I don't have a map handy to show you. But if you live from Iowa City down to St. Louis, over to Columbus, Ohio, up to Toledo, back over to Chicago, up north to Milwaukee, back down to Mason City, Iowa, Fort Dodge, Iowa, and then down to Iowa City. If you're anywhere in between that or along that route, then we can guarantee you $14.50 a week in that flatbed division and home weekly. Now, if you live within 50 miles of Chicago, we can guarantee you $1,700 a week and home weekly. Obviously, in that case, you're, you know you're gonna run a lot of Chicago. If you live within the Chicago area, you're gonna run, um, pretty much all those loads will be that. And um, with the $14.50, you'll be running a lot of that as well just give, kind of gives you an idea. So in that case, obviously, you're, you're, um, if you're doing flatbed, then your guaranteed pay for that first year is going to be um, obviously a little bit different than if you, I mean, you're, you're looking at over 70,000. If you're making the 1450, you're, you're looking at over 70,000. That's, and that's not counting any of your scorecard bonus, any of your, your safety bonus, um, or your um, sign-on bonus. The sign-on bonus is $5,000. Um, so yeah, you can definitely make, to give you an idea of the average, 
Um, I believe the average is right around 70 to 75, I believe. I don't have that right here in front of me, but um, I believe it's it's in the around the mid 70s is the average pay for our drivers. But again, that all is based off of your experience because if you are brand new to the industry, you're looking at making 52 cents a mile, like brand new, just graduated, 52 cents a mile to start. And then after 90 days, you move up to 55 cents a mile. If you're in the flatbed, you start at 53 and move up to 56 cents a mile after 90 days. Now that's, again, brand new to the industry. If you have 15 plus years of experience, you're starting at 70 cents a mile. So it's quite a bit of a difference from someone who's making 70 cents a mile at, you know, with 2,500 miles a week versus somebody who's making um, 55 cents a mile at, at um, 2,500 miles a week, with 2,500 miles a week. I mean, you're looking at a difference of 1,300, just under 1,400 a week versus just under um, 1,800 a week, right? So if I multiply that times 50, you're looking at 87.5 for uh, someone with 70 cents a mile. Um, and for somebody with 55 cents a mile, I'm using my calculator here, if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, what did I got? Seven. I'm trying to see what I was doing. Okay, yeah. And then at 55 cents a mile, that was the other one that I was doing. Um, at, with 50, you're looking at 68,000. So, yeah, that kind of gives you an idea. But I think when we averaged it all out, the our drivers were averaging mid-70s for, for like, W-2s. Those are W-2s. As an owner-operator lease purchase, we pay 72% of the load plus the fuel surcharge. Now, those are that's the, the load revenue where if you, I'm trying to think of what else, um, the fuel surcharge, if you're an owner-operator, obviously you don't have the additional expense. If you're a lease purchase operator, then you'll have your, your truck payment. You know, I know that you don't have it paid off if you're in the lease. If you're an owner-operator, obviously you could have it paid off because um, a lot of our lease purchase guys, once they pay it off, they just transition into the owner operators and then they don't have that additional overhead cost of, of their um, truck payment. But they will have the maintenance service, most likely. If you're part of our maintenance service or our lease purchase, then you'll have the maintenance service and you can ex you know expand on that. You can continue with that. Um, that is with the maintenance service fee. It's 10 cents per mile, I believe, 10 cents a mile on all miles that you that you run, just as you get the fuel surcharge on all dispatch miles, your maintenance service fee, you're charged at 10 cents, and that goes towards any additional expenses, maintenance service expenses beyond the warranty. So I'm talking tires and, and batteries and oil changes and things like that, that you know those are regular expenses that can add up quite a bit that aren't covered under the warranty, but they would be covered under the maintenance service fee. So, so you don't, you know, if you ended up having to replace all of your tires right out of the gate for who knows what reason, um, or all of your batteries, you have that taken care of. Because that can be a major expense for somebody who's just going into the lease purchase. Speaking of just going into the lease purchase, if that's something that you're looking at doing, then you do need to run, for us, you do need to run at least 90 days as a company driver first, before transitioning transitioning into the lease purchase program. So there's that's twofold. Um, part of the reason is that you get a good feel for the company, you know, you're making sure that it's gonna work out for you. Um, we've got the same, your expectations are aligning with our expectations. And the, we, we do that alignment ahead of time, but we wanna make sure that it's acted upon and that, that it's going smoothly for you. Um, once that's done, once you get the 90 days and Here's the, the twofold. You also need to make sure that your scorecard is high. If you are getting less than 825 on your scorecard on a regular basis, you're probably not cut out for the lease purchase, at least not yet. We can help coach you to get there, but if you're less than 825 on a regular basis, you probably won't do well. And here's why. If if, if you're below that 825, odds are you're not making use of all of your time or you're idling too high or you're not complying on the fuel solutions. 
Idling too high and not complying on the fuel solutions will break you as a lease purchase or an owner operator. You have to have a good understanding of that. If you don't, it can cost you hundreds of dollars a week. A week, you guys, it's a huge difference. Our savings are 48 cents on average, 48 cents a gallon for the lease purchase drivers using our fuel solutions. So it is extremely important. 48 cents a gallon, okay? Um, and that's in addition to um, some of our other savings as well. So keep that in mind. What else can I tell you about the lease purchase? Currently, it is the, the truck payment is $750, I believe, for the for flatbed and $725 for refrigerated, I believe. They're four-year lease terms. Yes, they are walk-away leases, but and that's why we want to make sure it's a good fit for you before we get you into the lease purchase program, because we do have those safety nets for you. And if you decide that lease purchase isn't right for you, you can go back to a company position if you prefer. But that's why we want to test the waters first, have you run as a company driver, make sure that it's running smoothly for you before you transition over. Now, as a company driver, uh, the rate of pay per mile, like we mentioned, you also have a, you have a couple more amenities. You've got the full benefit package, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, it's an 80-20 plan, you have um, dental, vision, prescription available to you. You have life insurance. You have accidental death insurance. Um, you have the 401k with a 50% match. You have the Epic View satellite TV that's company paid for you. Now you can purchase it as a lease purchase operator um, or an owner operator, but it's already paid for if you're a company driver. But all the other amenities are the same. APU, refrigerator, microwave, CB unit, uh, navigation, 22 inch television, uh, double bunk trucks, transflow geotab system for your logs. I mean, they're pretty, you're really well equipped with everything in the trucks. And of course, we've got our maintenance staff that's available to you 24 seven, our maintenance support. We also have our night ops, which or our round the clock operations in addition to your main driver manager, who's there to support you as well. So. We got you covered, making sure that if you need anybody, you can reach out. And we have a Facebook group that is really, really helpful. Um, I do want to say that those of you who use the Facebook group um, for maintenance issues, if you're troubleshooting, that's cool. But if you have an issue that needs to be taken care of, reach out to the maintenance service department. That's what they're there for. There's no reason for you to waste too much time when that they're, you know, they're available for your call. So make sure that you do that if you would. So there gives you a little bit of idea. But yes, let's break down just a little bit of what this, this scorecard will pay out on. Um, I mentioned that as a company driver, we have driver service claims, so claims and damage, um, CSA, CSA points, preventable accidents, um, your miles, your fuel compliance, your idle time. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five, I think I said it. Claims and service, CSA violations, fuel compliance, miles, idle, preventable accidents, and service failures. There we go. I combined a few of those. <laughs> There's seven criteria. That's for the company driver. For the owner operator, subtract the fuel solutions and the idle time because that right there, if you don't have a good handle, you'll know that. You'll know that. But that's the difference between the four cents a mile and the three cents a mile for an owner operator lease purchase. Um, yeah. So hopefully that gives you a good idea. And then, of course, there are different levels of idle. It's a total of 50 points for the fuel compliance, and there's different levels of that as well. So if you're seven, less than 75% compliant with the fuel solution, then you wouldn't receive those 50 points. Uh, with idle, you have 200 points available to you. If you're less than um, 15, or if you're greater, I should say, than 15% compliant, then you're going to get... Um, then, then you will lose or forfeit those points as well. So, there you go. All right. If you guys have any more questions, please reach out to our recruiting department at 888-668-0698 for more details on that. Uh, we do currently have refrigerated divisions, um, flatbed, refrigerated and flatbed. And I did just receive a message this morning saying that we do have available um, one of our 
local positions. It's actually, actually what it is, it's not local, local, but your home daily. It goes from Fort Dodge, Iowa to Blair, Nebraska and back. Currently, we are looking for someone for an 11 a.m. shift, 11 a.m. working that normal schedule. So 11 a.m., it's two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off, back to two on, two off, three on, three off. So every other weekend's a three-day weekend. That's how that shift works. Again, it's 11 a.m., um, and it's a full eight-hour shift. So usually eight hours. So weather permitting, right? Because I don't want to say anything outside of the weather. I know we're safe right now, knock on wood. <laughs> that is wood, right? Um, <laughs> but we're safe right now, but it's it's been snowy and icy, and who knows what it is right now for you guys. Um, so yes, that's that's perfect. If you guys have more questions on that position, that is our home daily, Fort Dodge, Iowa to Blair, Nebraska. That's a hopper position. I should have been clear on that. That is a hopper position. It's 11 a.m. start. Please reach out to my recruiting department for more details. It is 888-668-0698. The pay for that is $250 per shift. So $250 per shift. Um, actually, let me, it's $225 per shift, but when it's on Saturday or Sunday, it's $250 per shift. So $220, $225 per shift during Monday through Friday. Saturday, Sunday, it would be $250 per shift. Cool? All right. <laughs> That's what you're currently looking at. Now, if you guys have any other questions, again, please reach out to our recruiting department at 888-668-0698. All right. So I think we answered the questions. If you guys have more, you know how to find me. I'll be with you here shortly. So you guys take care. We'll be visiting with you a little bit more on TikTok later today as well. Um, stay safe and well, hello, Mike. How are you? A shift doing what? Oh, you must have just hopped on. This is a hopper position. It's based out of Fort Dodge, Iowa, and it goes from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska and back. So it's it's home daily. Um, it pays $225 per shift Monday through Friday and $250 when it's a Saturday, Sunday. And the rotation is two days on, two days off three days on, three days off, back to two on, two off. And that's why every other weekend is a three-day weekend, right? Is it every other weekend or every three, third weekend is a, a three-day weekend. So, yes, yep, yep, hopper, just like that. <laughs> so, And that's the, our normal 11 a.m. 11 a.m. shift for that. Work every other weekend, that's what it, that's what it is, working every other weekend. Just, I know, it's not in your neighborhood. That's the thing. It's just in the one location. In Fort Dodge, you do need to live within a 25-mile radius of Fort Dodge to qualify for that. All right. <laughs> All right, give us a holler at 888-668-0698. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Please stay safe and warm. Um, and like I said before, if you have any questions for the maintenance department, if you're having any issues, please reach out to them so that they can make sure that they take care of them. Um, and I say that because when it comes to the weather, it seems like that's when things are being tested. So we want to make sure. Um, Mike says, seems like I heard snow is coming. You have a great day too. I heard the same thing. So I'm batting down the hatches. <laughs> no, that only should be good. We're used to it here in Montana. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your week.